Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and happy new year. I hope everybody had a wonderful time with their loved ones this holiday season. Did anybody else have a hard time getting back to work after this lovely holiday break? We're really kind of taking it back like to the old days when I was first starting to do reviews, filming after work, still in my scrub top looking kind of crazy. I have been moving things around throughout the days and I'm like, you need to do it. I was like there having dinner and I'm like, just get up and film because you're gonna keep moving. Things have been on the list for a couple days, been off the list, been back, moved around, shifted and everything. But with all that, out of the 82 movies that I watched this year, these are gonna be my top 10 films. Everybody has already done their video, per usual, always late to the game, right? But I feel like it makes more sense, if you think about it, to watch at the beginning of the year to do it because that way you watch as many movies possible up to the very end, you know? Well. This year was actually the least amount of movies that I have seen since starting my YouTube channel. Like I've said, you know, previous months, I feel like 2023 personally wasn't really it for movies. Of course, this is my own personal list, all right? So we're, our lists obviously are not gonna be the same. In case you're here wondering where Oppenheimer on my list is, you can kind of go down below and guess where it's not gonna be at. <laughs> Oppenheimer's not on this list. So if you're looking for Oppenheimer, you're in the wrong you're in the wrong video y'all okay technically speaking i will give props to props to do technically speaking it is a wonderful movie visually the sound the acting <laughs> lovely but <laughs> what makes it on my top 10 you got to be memorable okay obviously you got to bring me some sort of enjoyment some sort of emotion you gotta stay with me. And we're gonna do the same kind of format that we did when I did my favorite of the movies thus far. I kind of liked it. It was, you know, I kind of shuffled all the 10 movies right here. I don't know where they're at. Number one may come out third place here. I don't know. I will say my top three, honestly, have remained the same from the get go, all right? Hence, John Wick, chapter four. I've talked about this movie so much. That overhead shot loves it i think it's everybody's freaking favorite it's one of my favorite like scenes of the year if i were to do such videos of what are my favorite most memorable scenes of the year that would definitely be one because that is just like amazing um not my number one but it is my number two then we have saltburn i know some of you're gonna be like what the fuck stephanie you got saltburn but you don't got oppenheimer that is right viewer because this is my list you have Oppenheimer as number one on your list, okay? But I'm gonna have this freaking weird ass movie. One thing about me, I love me a good artsy weird movie, and this is what that movie delivered. That fucking bathroom scene? <laughs> y'all know if y'all seen it. I really, really um enjoyed it, but this is gonna be my number uh my number 10 spot right there. How to blow up a pipeline. I'm honestly shocked that this has stayed on here. There's another one that has been number 10, has been number 11, has been number 9, and we're just following a bunch of activists and they're literally trying to blow up a pipeline because of like all the chemicals and everything that this industry, you know, bad stuff. Whoosh, and people will be dying. It's really interesting. I love how we kind of go back and forth. Honestly, like I said the whole time, I'm just like, you're gonna blow up before you're gonna blow up the pipeline. I don't know, it was so good. But um, this one is number nine for now. No, it's not, it's number eight. Who am I joking? It's number eight. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. What a beautiful coming of age story. Cause guess what? I was once a preteen girl. And I related to a lot of things about this girl, except for the whole period thing. Because like, I was never like, I want my period. And like, no. But they were obsessed. They were thinking, I knew people like that. Literally in the time period where, oh, come to my house so we can go play outside in the sprinklers. It's number four. Also, it's raining. Y'all may hear rainfall. Rainfall, fall, I know my I know y'all like, seriously, Stephanie? Seriously. Barbie over Oppenheimer. Yes! Barbie over Oppenheimer on this channel, okay? One, I was a Barbie fanatic when I was a kid. Like, I loved playing with my Barbies. That's me with my Barbies on my hand, okay? And I finally, finally, guys, I finally understand when 
maybe you as a viewer talk about like Batman, Ninja Turtles, uh, Transformers, that you used to play with these toys, you know, and you have this love and this attachment to the movie because you grew up playing or watching it as a young, you know, as a young kid. So you have this different like, ah, huh, with it. And I used to be like, what the fuck? For this? Like, I don't get it, right? Because I never really had that. Or I thought I didn't have that. But then we got Barbie. And I get it, you guys. I get it. It's such a beautiful thing. This was going to be number seven. Look at that. Another weird movie, y'all. Poor things. Frankenstein sort of movie. M. Stone. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo was so hilarious in this. This movie is so freaking hilarious. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love the acting. I love everything that happens in there. It's a little bit too naughty, y'all. Too naughty. Like a lot of like hunching happens up in here, okay? But she's trying to figure out who she is, you know, as Bella. But that's gonna be number five. Some honorable missions. Wonka. We have May December. May December almost made it on my top ten. Past Lives. Scream Six. Totally Killer. Dumb Money. Air. Iron Claw. But those are some honorable mentions. Spider-Man. Across the Spider-Verse. Fucking great movie. One of the best animated movies. Honestly, I don't think I saw that many animated movies this year. Come to think about it. Who am I? Did he watch animation? I love me some animation. Still my number one. I can't remember if Into the Spider-Verse. I think that one might have also been my number one when it came out. You've heard everybody in the Rama talk about this movie. I don't think there's anything else I need to say about it because if you know, you know. If you don't know, just know. It is my number one. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Thress, okay? If you did not cry in this movie, like, I don't think we can be friends. I will say, possibly the best MCU villain. I mean, yes, Thanos got rid of humanity, but I think he left the animals. So, like, you ha you can take all the people, Thanos, but you leave the animals alone. Mm, and I stand by that. Let's give me number threats. We have Joyride. <gasps> this was a surprise, y'all. This really was a surprise because I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I did. It's so freaking hilarious. It was a little bit higher up on my list. Then I rewatched it and I still thought it was freaking hilarious. But I was just like... I feel like my love for you went a little bit more down. Um, so then that's why it's going to move on down to number nine. But it's a good, raunchy kind of like the hangover vibes finally we have sisu side net light this is what y'all were trying to do this is how you do somebody who doesn't talk in a movie but y'all were trying to do it with the whole freaking movie and that was just too much there i didn't like that you know the nazis they sold gold from the wrong guy you don't fuck with sisu and then they told them you guys are lucky you need to come back over here and then they're like no man because we're going to go back. They're going to kill us because it's almost over. What are we going to do? Our retirement plan. We need this gold. And Sisu comes. And he does ah, so much stuff, y'all. So much stuff. Okay, it was so good. Okay, I love it. Because there's like a lot of head, like explosions. And like killings. And like, and you know. Mm. And there's a dog. The dog survives. Just want to let y'all know right now. The dog survives okay that's number six if you don't like like gore you know kind of like quentin tarantino vibes you don't like stuff like that you're it's probably not gonna be for you but this is how my top 10 is looking let me make sure this is how i want it yes yes that's my list right here guys okay it's gonna change definitely you ask me tomorrow you ask me next week they'll you know Oppenheimer will still not be there. But this is how it is today if you're like wars x y and z i don't decide these two movies y'all these are some of the main ones that you're probably like, where's this and this and this? Maybe here. Maybe I didn't watch it. Maybe I did, but it's like down somewhere on my list on Letterboxd. You can check it out there. Cause again, I have everything that I logged and it's in order. I have one other video I think that I'm going to be doing, which is going to be ranking as a book video. Like I said, I'm on a book journey. Don't worry, I'm not bringing books to this channel, but it's just a way for me to log that portion of it um i do my book stuff on tiktok but it's gonna be too long of a video to do it over there so we're gonna do it here i hope you guys do not mind so i'm doing that and then i'm doing my top 10 um like uh new to me board games of 2023 because i do a bit of uh board game content from here here and there so i have two, about two more videos two or three more videos that i have coming and then we're gonna 
then we're gonna hang up the hat for a while okay uh, but let me know down below what your top 10 looks like like I said I know it's not gonna look the same my list itself is not gonna look the same in a while like comment share subscribe I know I'm not gonna be doing a lot of content but whenever I do come back I would love to see you around the neighborhood here uh, thank you so much for watching I hope 2024 is an amazing year for you I'm gonna be watching a lot of reruns because honestly what I want to do I just want to catch up awesome shows at Grey's Anatomy last time I watched Grey's Anatomy COVID was still happening y'all Meredith was just coming out of a coma. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.